Okay guys, I'm going to show you here how to adjust the set trigger in a Thompson Center Hawken or a Thompson Center Renegade rifle. Um, these two trigger model guns here. This example here is a, is a Hawken. And in this uh, demonstration I went ahead and pulled the, the trigger guard off. But I, I can adjust them just fine with the guard left on. It's, you got to sneak in from the side. Uh, but if you're not comfortable doing that and you can't you know can't get a good feel on it then by all means go ahead and take that guard off so one other thing I'll add really quick right here is this is nothing to do with the pull weight the pull weight is not adjustable here just remember that this is to this is for the over travel so okay here we go so I use just a little screwdriver and you can see the the little screw right there okay that's what we're going to be using to adjust so with the rifle in this in this um, demonstration I'm going to show you how to do it with the the hammer in the all the way forward position just as if it was fired so we'll go ahead and come back half cock there's full now let's go ahead and pull on the, grab the hammer, pull on the front trigger, and lower it down back to the all the way forward fired position. Now pull the rear trigger. You hear it click there. And take your little screwdriver and come into the, get on that little screw head and start turning in, which is clockwise. And you're going to do this until you hear a, a click. You'll see this rear trigger shoe here. You'll see it kick forward. Right there. As quick as that kicks forward, you stop immediately. Don't go forward. And from this point right here, Thompson Center recommends to back, back that little screw off one full turn. So... Just look where the little screw is oriented and come back. There's a half a turn. There's one full turn. Now, I personally back them off a half of a turn, but I shoot a lot of bench rest target and I'm very comfortable with these triggers. So, again, Thompson Center recommends to, to come off one full turn. So, let's do that again, real quick, guys. Again, with the hammer in the. There it is at full cock. Let's go all the way forward to the fired position. Pull the rear trigger. Get on with the little screwdriver and start turning it in clockwise until you hear it click and that rear trigger shoe kicks forward. Right there. And again, from this point right here, you come back back off exactly one full turn there's a half there's one full turn that's how simple it is guys um, now the way Thompson Center recommends to do it is they recommend to do it in the half cock position and I'm actually revisiting this because I've always adjusted them in this half cock position but there's a lot of guys that swear up and down you can break the sear by doing it this way when it slaps forward like that, when you're when you're screwing it in and the rear, the that rear trigger shoe kicks forward, many people say you can break that the the sear. So for safety, um, go ahead and and do it in the all the way fired forward position, right there. So that's it, guys. That's how simple it is to adjust these things. But I want to show you here, really quick. In, the, in a Thompson Center manual, and this was a manual that would have came with these old guns back in the day. It tells you right here, the adjustment screw located in front of the rear trigger controls the amount of set trigger engagement. This adjustment screw has no effect on single stage trigger pull. Single stage trigger pull is non-adjustable. The set triggers on TC rifles are adjusted to our production standard before shipment. Triggers are adjusted to what we feel is an optimum let off travel. 
which is that when you back it off one full turn. So in order to check the adjustment for let off travel, the following procedure should be used. With the rifle uncharged and unprimed, place the hammer in half cock position. See here's where they're telling you, half cock position. And I've done that for years and, and I've never broken a sear, ever had a problem. So just for the guys though that, that, that scream and cry over that and say you can break the sear, I went ahead and showed you how to do it in the, for, in the, in the all the way fired forward position. So again, TC's telling you right here in their manual, and they're who made the gun, they're telling you to do it in the half cock position. You set the rear trigger like I showed you. With the trigger set, carefully turn the adjustment screw clockwise until the trigger mechanism snaps into unset position. Stop turning the instant the mechanism snaps. Do not turn the adjustment screw beyond this point for it marks the instant of total set trigger disengagement. Once the mechanism snaps, turn the adjustment screw counterclockwise one full turn. That's it guys. That easy. I hope this this helps some of you guys. I get I get a lot of questions about this. Um, Anyway, that's it, how easy it is. One thing I do here is I use like a toothpick and I put a little dab of this blue gun tight on a toothpick or any kind of something of that nature. And I put it on the shank of this little set screw right here so that it'll hold. These things are notorious for being really loose. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of these things where I could turn them with my fingers. And they'll literally they'll come out of adjustment. I mean, obviously they can easy. So by adding that little bit of blue gun tight to that before you adjust, then it'll set and it'll cure, and you don't have to worry about that little screw backing up. Anyway, that's it, guys. I hope this helps some of you.